So let's go ahead and look at uh, point coordinates. So in point coordinates, we're going to write the fractional coordinates of the atoms relative to the unit cell. So here we've got a simple cubic unit cell. And one of the things I need to do to write the fractional coordinates is just to go ahead and pick a set of axes to use. I'm going to um, go ahead and use this back corner, and I'll typically do that through most of the slides to try and be consistent for you. But I'm going to call these the ABC directions, uh, X, Y, Z. If you want, the ABC is, is typically how we refer to the directions on uh, crystal systems. So we can talk about there being an A lattice parameter, B lattice parameter, and C lattice parameter. In the case of the cubic, the A, B, and C are all equal. And that wouldn't be the case, say, for the tetragonal system that you saw previously. In that system, the A and B are equal, and the C axis is the one that is stretched. Okay, so at this point, once we've got that defined, we can simply go ahead and write the positions of these coordinates relative to, to this unit cell. And so, for example, this atom up here would be zero in the A direction, one in the B direction, and one in the C direction. So just like you would normally write coordinates of point. So this would be 1, 1, 1, for example, as a coordinate. Uh, this one over here would be 0, 1, 0. Right? This one would be uh, 1, 1, 0. And then this one, so I'm going to go ahead and pause for a second, give you time to like to think um, just for just for five seconds, what kind of coordinate would you write for that one? All right, so let's go ahead and see what you got. This should be the one, zero, one. Okay, so those are point coordinates or fractional coordinates. In our next example here, we've got now atoms contained um, at other places besides just the corners. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this in the same way. If we describe the positions, again, I'm going to use this as my A axis, my B axis, and then my C axis, moving up along the back here. That should be a B. Um, so again, these atoms that are sitting out here on the corners, for example, this one here, would just be a one, one, zero position. And now for this face-centered cubic structure, we've got atoms sitting in the centers of faces. So this face atom here then, for example, would be just one half of the way out in the A direction, one half over in the B, and we're in the AB plane, so zero in the C. And so we'll see that all of the face atoms have similar type coordinates. This one over here, where you are a half out in the X, we are all the way out in the B direction, and then now one half up in the Y direction. So that's how we can write our fractional coordinates. All right, so go ahead and um, think about this one up here. Go ahead and write down what you think the coordinates for that will be. I'll give just a few seconds to do that. Okay. So hopefully you saw that it was one half out in the x direction, one half over in the y direction, and one in the z direction, c direction. So one half, one half, one is a fractional coordinate. And so sometimes this is very useful in uh, helping to define where atoms are when our structure starts to get kind of confusing. Um, we also see that it's very helpful when we're trying to find uh, distances between planes or distances between atoms to know their fractional coordinates. All right, so here's the cesium chloride structure. So I would go ahead and pause this video now and go ahead and write down the coordinates, say for this atom, and let's say this one, 
than this one. So go ahead and pause the video, write down the coordinates for those three, then come back and we'll take a look. Okay, welcome back. Let's go ahead and write down the answers for these and see how you did. So this is one half, one half, one half. And this one here is going to be uh, zero, one, zero. I guess I should have specified my axes. Again, I'm going to put them consistent with what I've been doing. Okay, if you pick a different coordinate, you're going to end up with different fractional coordinates. So I recommend that you pick the back corner like I am, just make it easier to compare answers. And then this one here is going to be 0, 1, 1. Okay, easy enough. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a little more complicated structure. This is one that you saw before that we called uh, diamond cubic. So this is a diamond cubic structure when all of the atoms here are the same type. And in this case here, these extra four atoms that show up in this structure um, are not the same type, but in fact, zinc. And then sulfurs show up in what look like face-centered cubic sites. And so we've got this, what's called a zinc blend structure. So fractional coordinates help here in uh, helping you to see where these extra atoms are located. So hopefully the sulfurs you can see are on phase type sites. So again, something like this would be at one half, one, one half. Again, I need to put my coordinate system on here or these point coordinates don't make any sense. Okay, we have no reference. So there we go, we got ABC. All right, so now what about these extra ones, these, these blue atoms that are here? Each of these um, sulf, uh, zinc atoms are located behind uh, a corner, and they're off by a factor of a quarter, quarter, quarter from a corner. Okay, that was a mouthful. So for example, if I was to take a look at this one here, this corner atom is at one, zero, zero. And this zinc atom, right, is going to be off from that. Let me go ahead and, and write its uh, change in position. So I'm going to come uh, back one quarter. So let me write it this way. I'm going to write one, zero, zero, minus Uh, let's see, oops, let me do plus. Okay, so we're going to go minus a quarter in the x direction, and we're going to move over in the b direction here by a quarter, and we're going to move up by a quarter. Okay, so in other words, the coordinate for this one then is three quarters, one quarter, one quarter. Okay, so they're all shifted by a quarter, quarter, quarter from their closest um, corner atom. So let's take a look at um, one more of them. So let's say this one here. So the corner atom it's sitting behind is at position one, one, one. And this one is shifted off by a quarter, quarter, quarter. And so its position here in this case is actually three quarters, three quarters, three quarters. Okay, so that's the zinc blend uh, structure. All right, that's it for uh, point coordinates. See you next time.